Let's chew the fat on this Clemson grad transfer after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folks? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider it in the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, talk about Austin Jackson, who is a grad transfer from Clemson. And I'm doing... I'm doing this upload because I, I I thought I covered this. I thought we covered this. I thought we've been over this, but apparently we haven't been over it enough. Austin Jackson is a grad transfer. Yes, he played football at Clemson University. Yes, he was a part of two national championship winning programs. He's a walk-on, all right? He's a very interesting walk-on. He's a very accomplished walk-on, but he's a walk-on. And Alex Grinch said, look, he's helping us out on our scout team, trying to get eligible. He arrived late to camp, didn't even know if it was going to work. He's in there, though. And now that he's in there, yes, he has an opportunity, just like everybody else who's on the team. But I think it's much more interesting to talk about how he got here than what he might be able to do at Oklahoma, which I don't think is a whole hell of a lot. But, but, Austin Jackson started out at Cary, Green Hope in North Carolina, where he ran track, and he was an All-American in the sprint. He ran 684 and 55 meters, which is which is fast. That's, yeah, that's elite. And he was an All-American. He went to the New Balance Indoor Nationals, and he competed well. East Tennessee State was starting up his program after about a dozen years of not having a program. He was recruited there to play wide receiver. Thought he was going to redshirt play wide receiver. Turns out they wanted to play a little safety. He was pretty good. 32 tackles, a couple fumble recoveries. He could play a little bit, and he thought that he could play enough to where he's like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go try to walk on at Clemson and see if I can't earn an opportunity to play for Brent Venable as a part of his defense. Didn't record any statistics while he was there. But, again, part of a national championship winning culture. He understands what it means to win national championships. He understands what that ride is like. Now, how did he get to Oklahoma? Well, he was going to give up football because he graduated with a business degree and he had an internship at the New York Stock Exchange. I mean, this is a very accomplished dude, right? But he knows Joe Washington, a dude he calls Uncle Joe. All right, Silver Shoes. Silver Shoes says, hey, man, why don't you come over here, give football one last shot and get your business degree, graduate degree. Cool. I think that's awesome. I think that's very cool. I think he's also testing... Alex Grinch's philosophy about, hey, every job is open. Everybody has an opportunity to win a job. If you can come out here and you can play, and you can beat the guy in front of you, cool, because I want the competition. And he's coming to take advantage of that opportunity in year one with Alex Grinch because, well, if you're going to make waves, this is the time to make waves because the defense coordinator doesn't really know much except what he's learned over the last eight months from this roster. Everybody's learning the scheme at the same time. Nobody has a distinct advantage. It's all about ability, want to, hustle, and smarts. If you have those things, you can play for Alex Grinch. He's going to put you in a position to succeed. I think Austin Jackson's value is being an older guy who understands what it means to play football at every level, junior college, all the way up to FCS, all the way up to Clemson and now at Oklahoma. He knows what the different levels are. He'll be able to communicate with younger guys. He'll be able to act as a mentor. And he'll be able to contribute what he thinks it looks like for a national championship winning culture and a national championship winning team. That means that there are now two guys playing at Oklahoma today who have won national championships this decade and in the past three to four years, right? Jalen Hurts being the other guy. I don't think there's anything else to this, okay? I know a lot of people saw Clemson, saw defense back, saw safety, and said, oh, we got us a Clemson dude. Nah, it ain't like that, all right? It, it's really not. You're stuck with what you got. And if Austin Jackson turns out to be a player, and he's a, he's a big dude, 6'1", 215, cool. Like, there's a coach of his that thought he reminded him of Eric Stryker. I think that's a reach, you know, because if anybody would like to be able to pump somebody, it'd be me. I'd like to pump anybody up that I think could play. You all know that I love me some Buki, but that's because I believe in Buki. Austin Jackson appeared out of nowhere. He hasn't been a part of the team. He's still learning the culture. Don't even know how he even figures in the game prep except as part of the scout team, as Alex Grinch said. And since I heard Alex Grinch say he's helping us with our scout team, older guy, like having him in a room, but that's it. That's where I'm going to leave it. All right. That's it for me. Doses.
Actually, no, it's not it for me. We do this thing all the time where we want a new guy to succeed. We want a new guy, a newcomer, to pull Oklahoma up out. And then if that guy does not meet our expectations, we throw him in the dumpster. I don't like it. Okay, it's one of the reasons why I have been so fiercely on guard for Buki. Because the dude came in as a five-star, and he has a cult following unlike anything anybody's ever seen from a corner, let alone a short corner. And all people want to do is dump on him because they don't think that he can play, knowing that everybody ain't Trevor Lawrence. And even that guy struggled. He sucked against Texas A&M, okay? People forget that. And the narrative becomes so simple and so cast away. I don't like it. I'm going to lay this at the feet of coaches more often than I'm going to lay it at the feet of a kid because Alex Grinch is getting paid $1.4 million to coach defense. One side of football. It's his defense. And if they win, it's because the players did it. If they lose, it's because he did it. Players win, coaches lose. I wish we had more of that as fans. I'm not going to side with, with management. It's not who I am, man. You're labor. I'm labor. We work for a living. Those kids bust tail out there, man. I mean, it's one thing to talk about Deshaun White. It's another thing to see Deshaun White drenched in sweat, smelling like a locker room, all kinds of just beat up, and he's been at it. There's a spider. Got it. He's been at... That's on my fingers now. He's been at it for two years now, basically, right? Or he's going into a full year, I guess, of being on campus. So he's red shirt freshman. But dudes like that, man, and dudes we never get to talk to. Okay, like I make jokes about Colton Atkinson, but man, he's here. He's working. I refuse to do this thing where I just let a kid go into the dumpster because he had a down year, right? I'm not pumping Austin Jackson up. One, because I want to be realistic about what he can contribute, and two, because he's one of many guys on that team, all right? And he's getting as much of an opportunity as anybody else needs to get out there, okay? So I just wish we could do this thing where we just kind of, hey, look, if you're a newcomer, don't overhype the guy unless he deserves to be overhyped. And, you know, I'm, pay I'm paying attention. Right, So I like to be very judicious and focused when I do that kind of stuff, which is, again, believe in Buki. Okay? I think Jamal Morris is going to end up being one of those guys that cited as a leader in a couple of years. All right, I think Jaden Davis has the ability to play any position in the defensive backfield. There are guys that are going to come along. Jeremiah Cradell might be the most polished defensive back that Oklahoma has, and he has modern day attached to his name, so you're going to expect more out of him than you would others. Same thing with Jaden Davis coming out of St. Thomas Aquinas. But if they don't pan out as true freshmen, fine. I mean, people did this with Kenneth Murray Jr., and they're still doing it with Kenneth Murray Jr. It just drives me crazy. So, yeah, all right, rant's over. Now I'm done. Deuces.